Welcome to the Fun Food Federation channel. If you are new here, I am Apyong. If you've been here before, well, thank you for coming back and continuing to watch these videos. Now, we are in December, December of 2020, which means that we are heading towards holiday season. And if anything, this year, holiday season is worth celebrating just because of what we all have been through in 2020. Now, one thing that we are definitely going to be doing, whether we are still in some form of lockdown or we're free to move around, is eating. Food is always a big part of any celebration at this time of year. But before we get into eating all those rich and heavy and processed sweet and salty foods that we're going to eat and eating them so many different ways more frequently than we normally do there's one thing that we probably need to put in check and that is our di digestive system so to do a little some to do something a little different in this video what i want to share with you are some ways that you can support your digestion during the holiday season and beyond so these are simple drinks or teas that you can make that can support your digestive system whether you're feeling bloated or constipated or you just want to get your digestive system ready to process all those great foods that you're going to be eating so while we're doing that if you haven't done so already go ahead and look below this window you'll see a subscribe button go ahead and tap that so that we can stay connected but let's talk about these digestive supporting drinks that we can have during the holidays that are really easy and are made with ingredients that we should already have access to at home or that we can easily have gain access to at the local market or grocery store The first drink we're going to look at is warm water and lemon. Now the benefits of drinking warm water and lemon first thing in the morning on an empty stomach it is that it's going to help flush out the excess toxins from your system. The citric acid present in lemons will interact with the essential enzymes in your stomach and stimulate the secretion of gastric juices which really supports digestion. It also is great for hydration because lemons contain electrolytes and this also keeps the body hydrated now the best thing to do is to drink this on an empty stomach first thing in the morning and use warm water and not hot water because hot water will actually destroy the benefits of the lemon the next drink we're going to look at is ginger tea. Now ginger has long been known and used as an ingredient to soothe stomach issues, gut issues. Ginger root has this calmative property which basically is a substance that helps to eliminate gas from the digestive system and soothe the intestinal tract. I like to drink it as a ginger tea and it's as simple as boiling some ginger root in hot water. I like to add some orange zest and orange juice to mine. With the zest, you just want to peel off the zest as much as possible without getting the pith because that actually has some bitterness to it. I'm just going to squeeze my juice out and I'm going to add my orange juice after I have boiled my ginger root because I don't want to put it in boiling hot water. All you need to do is put a pan on the heat with some water, put your ginger root in along with your orange zest and just bring it to a boil for about five to seven minutes. Once the tea has boiled, you want to strain it into a teapot or into a jug. I'm just using my measuring jug here and I'm going to leave it to cool a little bit before I pour it into my teacup and then I'm going to top that off with some orange juice. I'm also going to add a little bit of sweetener as well. This is optional just to add a little bit of sweetness to this and this is a really simple ginger tea that you can drink if you have an upset stomach or you're feeling a little gassy. It's a great simple tea to make with ginger root that's readily available. 
Next, we're going to look at fennel and fennel tea. Now, fennel seeds are used in cooking as a seasoning, as a spice, especially in Indian cooking, but they have great digestive properties. You can just take a few fennel seeds and actually just throw them in your mouth and just chew on them. They're really great for re helping to relieve and prevent constipation and improving regularity. You can also just pound them to break them down and steep them in hot water for about five to seven minutes and pour yourself a cup of fennel tea. Fennel is also great because it contains an antispasmodic agent that relaxes the smooth muscles in your digestive tract. This means it's great for supporting and helping with symptoms such as bloating, flatulence and cramping. Fennel is also sold in tea as tea bags, so definitely check your local grocery store because you can just get tea bags if you're going to drink fennel tea. But again, having the seeds is great because you can chew on them and you can cook with them as well. So it's just a really versatile ingredient to have. And the tea, it's really easy to make. The fourth option we're going to look at in terms of supporting your digestion is mint tea. Now, mint is a great herb to have growing around the home. It grows really easily and doesn't take a lot of care. I just picked these from the pot that's growing outside of my kitchen. Now, the great thing about mint also is that it contains menthol, and this property is the active oil in the mint, which has antiseptic and antibacterial properties. These properties help to relieve indigestion and also soothe and upset stomach. Mint also helps to flush out toxins as well, so it's a great detoxifier. Mint tea is really easy to make, so once you've steeped your leaves in hot water, all you need to do is to pour it in a glass and start drinking. You can also add some sweetener as well to make it a little bit sweeter. You can also just take some of the leaves and chew on them because they are a great way to freshen your breath. So mint is an all-around win. The fifth drink that we are going to look at is a no-brainer, but so many people have challenges drinking it. It is water. Now, during the holiday period, the best thing that you can do for yourself is drink more water. Try to drink at least two more glasses of water than you normally would drink, especially if you are eating a lot more than you normally do. If you're eating a lot more heavy foods, a lot more comfort foods, sweet foods, salty foods, and if you're eating more frequently, it's really important for you to drink water in between your meals. This is going to help alleviate constipation. It's also going to help flush out toxins. Now, if you are one of those people that doesn't like to drink water, a couple of things that you can do are, instead of using ice cubes in your water, you can use frozen fruit. Um, this, as the fruit melts in the water, will actually release some of the flavors from the fruit into the water and make it a little flavorful for you to drink. If you are in the Northern Hemisphere where it is winter um, and you don't want to drink anything that's cold, drink room temperature water. I actually, during the winter, drink warm water and I'm able to drink more water that way. Again, teas are a great way for you to get more water. So non-caffeinated herbal teas are also a great way for you to get more fluids into your system. Hopefully you found the suggested recipes in this video useful. Let me know in the comments down below if you do try any of the recipes that were featured and also share if there are other things that you do to support your digestion if you are having an upset stomach or if you need a little help digesting all that excess food that you ate. Now, I will leave the recipe link for these drinks in the description box below as well so that you can try them out. Remember to play around with the recipe recipes, make them your own and make them work for you. And with that said, remember to look below this window if you haven't done so already. If you need convincing, I hope this video convinced you, go ahead and tap that subscribe button. Remember to hit the notification bell and also give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And until next time, just remember that regardless of what you do, eating more plants is always a good thing to do. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.